Greetings from the actual City College of New York. My name is Abuna Elijah Berry, and welcome to our seventh lecture of Ordinary Defensive Equations. This time, we're going to be doing undetermined coefficients. You might say, but Tiborno, you did that for lecture five. Are we going backwards now? Well, no. Today, we're going to be seeing how to work with these for higher order differential equations. Gigantic problem, but it's pretty simple once you actually get into it. So first, we have to simplify the form of this equation. So this is our characteristic equation. All right, so now what do we do with this? Well, turns out this can be factorized very quickly. And that means we just have one root with a multiplicity of 3. Which means that our homogeneous solution is going to be, or our complementary solution as some call it, this is just going to be e to the 4t plus t e to the 4t plus t squared e to the 4t, of course, with some coefficients. So that's our homogeneous solution. All right, so now let's look at how we might go about a particular solution. So not only do we need a constant term, accommodate for something like this, so we're going to write A. We also need a regular term, so B E to the minus 8T. Then we need another term that acknowledges this, a C E to the 4T. Now here's the problem. Since this is already in our complementary solution in this form, What's going to happen is once we plug this in, this term is going to be lost. We plug this in, it's going to become zero. So we need to add some sort of factor to it. Now multiplying it by t is not going to work because that's also in here. Multiplying it by t squared is not going to work because that's also in here. So we have to increase it all the way to t cubed. So that means that our best guess is a plus b e to the minus a t plus c t cubed e to the 40. So now let's take the derivative. y p prime is equal to minus 8 b e to the minus 8 t plus, and now we have to start abusing the product rule, 4 c times what we get in here is going to be 3t squared e to the What we get in here is going to be 3t squared plus t cubed. Let me see. No, this is inaccurate. This would be plus 4t cubed. So as you can see, everything's pretty much going smoothly over here. Now we just take the double derivative, which gives us 64b e to the minus 8t plus, of course, 4c e to the 4t times, now all we need to do is take the old one, multiply it by 4, and of course, why is that? Because this is the first term of our product rule, so in this one, all we're doing is not taking the derivative of this part, but instead of this part, which means that the exponent goes down, so we multiply it by 4. Okay, pretty easy to understand. And then we have the next part of it, which is going to be where we take the derivative of this. Instead, it's just 6t plus 12t squared, which I'm going to add right over here to get this polynomial. All right. Pretty simple. And now all we have to do is take the triple derivative. We get negative 512b e to the minus 8t plus 
uh, 4c e to the 4t times multiply this existing one by 4 and then add the derivative on. So the existing one is going to then become 64t cubed plus 8096t squared plus 24t. And then what we do is we add on the derivative of this, which is going to be 48t of 48t squared is a 6. So then simplifying that, geez, that's loud. Simplifying that, adding 96 to 48 gives us 144. And adding 24 to 48 gives us 72. Now I'm going to simplify it all the way down here. And it looks like we have a common factor of 8 stuck in there. So we're going to loosen that up real quick. Get 32ce to the 4t times 8t cubed plus 18t squared plus 9t over there. And then plus 512 b e to the minus 8t is equal to y p triple prime. All right, cool. So now let's add up the constants. Obviously, since a only appears in one of these equations, well, first of all, we actually have to multiply everything out. So this is going to be multiplied by minus 64. This one is going to be multiplied by... <clears throat> And this one is going to be multiplied by positive 48. This one is going to be multiplied by minus 12. This one is just regular. And so we get minus 64a has to be equal to 12, obviously. So that means a is equal to 12, minus 12 over 64 or minus 3 over 16. Pretty easy. Then b and c get real crazy. But still, b is not too hard, because we just have minus 64b times e to the minus 8t. And then, minus 8b times 48. And then, we have minus 12 times 64. So, we've got minus 12 times 64. And here, we've got minus 512b. And this whole thing is equivalent to minus 32. So now, all I'm going to do is just divide by minus 32. Pretty self-explanatory. So we just get 2b minus... Mm, going to be b times plus 12b and then over here we get plus 24b finally over here we get 512 over 32 should be about 16 b and no not zero one and now it's pretty easy to just add everything up this is 14b this makes 38b and of course, 38 plus 16 is going to be 54b is equal to 1. Or in other words, b is equal to 1 divided by 54. All right, so that's a and b. Now we're going to have to deal with the monster that we call c. Let me just scratch that real quick. All right, so now how do we actually get around this? It's insane, right? So... We have to just focus on C this whole time, never breaking away from it. All right, so let's do it. So we get that. Oops, sorry. So at the end of the day, we have to get that minus 64 times C and then plus 48 times 4c, just make sure, is that correct? Yep, yeah, okay. And then, is it really correct? 
Mm. No, it's not. This cannot be true. Okay. So if this is not correct, this is not correct, meaning this should only be 8. Yeah, that was probably kind of obvious. But uh, now we've remedied our mistake, and instead there should be a different algebraic term somewhere in here. So, yeah, looks like we've got a handle on everything there. So here, all we can do is just factor out a puny 2. So we're going to write 2 times minus 12. And then finally, all we can get at the end of the day over here is 8. So in other words, oh, C, C. So we get minus 64C plus 48C minus 24C plus 8C. So then, what do we get at the end? Well, 48 minus 24 is 24. 24 minus 64 is minus 40. Minus 40 plus 8 is minus 32. So we get that minus 32C is equal to 2. So C is then equal to minus 2 over 32, or minus 1 over 16. So then, at the end of the day, we get that our Y particular is going to be equal to A, which is minus 3 over 16, plus B, which is 1 over 54, plus C, T cubed, e to the 4t, and write this would be e to the minus 8t, and there we go. Now, all we have to do is add on the homogeneous solution, which is all the way back here. So, for the homogeneous solution, I'm just going to factor out e to the 4t, get c1 plus uh, c2t, plus c3 t squared. So yeah, it's an insane expression, but that's it. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.